If you have strong troubleshooting skills and like fixing things, our next guest career may be for you. Let's meet a construction millwright. Hi there, I'm Viviana. Hi, I'm Pat. Nice to meet you. you. Welcome to Toka Industries. Thank you. Show me around. Sure, we'll take a tour around the mill. My name is Pat O'Flynn. I'm a construction millwright in Kelowna, BC. There's a lot of equipment in the mill and, and our job is to repair and maintain that equipment. Any moving parts, uh, pneumatic, hydraulic, there's cylinders, there's bearings, there's lubricants and chain, motors, pumps. We look after a, a, a wide variety of equipment. So Pat, we're standing outside the millwright department. What happens in here? Uh, we take any uh, broken uh, parts from the machines inside the mill, bring them here, fix them up, and get them ready to go back in. What are we fixing today? Uh, I'm gonna take a, a shiv off of one of the motors and put a different one on. Let's do it. So my day, I start at six, come in, look at the logbook, see what happened the night before on shift. If there's anything that's caused them some trouble, I might go and take a look at. Otherwise, if there isn't anything, I'll go into the shop and see if there's any, any parts that need to be rebuilt, make a work order, go get the parts and start rebuilding it. There is a day shift that starts from six to two, afternoons are two to 10, and then we have a graveyard shift from 10 to six. Overtime is available if you wanna work weekends. Weekends are our downtime, and that's when we like to get some of the bigger jobs that we can't get during the week. As a kid, I used to love just building things and, and and working on my own cars and getting something to work that didn't work. And I got in the sawmill industry and I saw all the different moving parts and I got to help on weekends. And then I finally went into my apprenticeship at the company I'm at. I went to BCIT, um, it's seven weeks a year and the rest is on the job training after the seven weeks. You need about 6,000 work hours to get your uh, interprovisional ticket. So this is a shiv. What does it do? Why is it here? It actually has a belt that goes from here down to the reducer, transfers the power. The shiv is worn out, so we want to actually take this one off, replace it with a new one. Ah, oh, there we go. There you go. And we'll take this off. You have to work with your hands on this job. You're using a wrench, you're moving equipment around, things to carry. There's, there's lots of things uh, Miller uses his hands for. It's important to pay close attention to detail when you're rebuilding, uh, say, a, a pneumatic cylinder. You don't want that cylinder to go back into the piece of equipment and the seals haven't been put in properly or that piston hasn't been tightened down properly. It's, 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 it's really important that you pay close attention to that. So where are you taking me now? We're going to head up in the mill and uh, take a look at all the machinery. Got your hearing protection? I sure do. Okay, well, let's go. <laughs> You're constantly moving around as a millwright, so you really have to be aware of your area. There's a lot of, of moving parts that can pinch or hurt you. The most challenging part of my job is trying to problem solve that piece of equipment that's down. You have to think on your feet, because when that piece of equipment's down, your mind's going all over the place and you're trying to find what's, what's wrong with it. So you need to have that type of mindset when you go in. The best part of my job is getting that piece of equipment back up and running. We're like a team and when we get that piece of equipment back up and running, we're not losing money and the guys are happy. The misconceptions of this job, that it is just mill work. A millwright doesn't necessarily mean a sawmill. I've seen some places uh, like a fruit packing plant or a hospital, school, school board, a city, anywhere where there's different equipment that needs repairing, that's where a millwright will be. I'm actually happy where I am. I, you can move up into a foreman position or charge hand or uh, you get into purchasing, but this is where I feel more comfortable, working with the equipment and getting my hands dirty. It is hard, but it's, you know, I think anybody can, anybody can do it if they really want to. Someone that can think on their feet, they're handy with their hands, mechanically inclined, male or female. It's, it's a great job. I really enjoy it. I look forward to coming to work every day. Pat, thanks so much for showing me around. I had no idea what a millwright did. What a cool job you have. Come again anytime. Once again, I'm Viviana for Career Track, reminding you that this career could be yours. We'll see you next time.